The International Monetary Fund says large targeted policies are needed to limit the economic fallout of the coronavirus outbreak. According to the fund, government could offer temporary and targeted credit guarantees for the near-term liquidity needs of SMEs, while central banks should provide ample liquidity to banks and non-bank finance companies for the purpose of lending. Financial market regulators and supervisors have also been asked to encourage on a temporary and time-bound basis extensions of loan maturities. The IMF says broader maturity stimulus such as policy rate cuts or asset purchases can lift confidence and support financial markets if there is a marked risk of a sizable tightening in financial conditions. And Egypt's annual urban consumer inflation fell to 5.3% in February from 7.2% in January, driven by a larger-than-expected decline in the price of vegetables. Data from the official statistics agency, CAPMAS, shows that on a month-on-month -month basis, inflation stood at 0% compared to 0.7% in January. Inflation spiked to as high as 33% in 2017 before gradually falling back to 3.1% in October, its lowest rate since December 2005. Egypt completed a three-year economic reform program linked to $12 billion in loans from the International Monetary Fund last year. And Kenya's central bank will offer reopened 20- and 25-year treasury bonds at this month's auction, seeking to raise a total of 50 billion shillings. According to the central bank, the bonds, which will be auctioned on March the 18th, have a coupon rate of 13.20% and 13.40% for the 20- and 25-year tenures, respectively. The bank will rediscount the bonds at 3% above the prevailing market yield or coupon rate and is subject to approval by the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And the business rescue practitioners appointed to try to save struggling South African Airways has issued a notice to all employees that it intends to begin consultations on retrenchment. The BRP says that all 4,708 employees will be affected and the number of jobs that will exist in the restructured organization will be the subject of the consultation process. Significant changes to conditions of employment include remuneration and benefits appear unavoidable and will be sorted out by agreement. The practitioners say that they will seek to reverse a many, as many jobs as possible cuts but caution that outlook for the airline had deemed further following the spread of the COVID-19 virus and its impact on international travels. And South African power utility ESCOM, which resumed nationwide power cuts uh, Monday, says it will extend outages to today after delays in returning to service some of the generation units that has broken down. On Monday, ESCOM cut up to 1,000 megawatts from the grid because of breakdowns of generation units. ESCOM says there were breakdowns of generating units with 12,371 megawatts capacity and planned maintenance outages accounting for 4,728 megawatts. South Africa's economy slipped into recession, highlighting the impact of power cuts on the economy, among other factors. And that's it on the program. Thank you for watching. I'm Chimize Ubi Iwago.